everybody. Thanks for joining me. I've been gone for a couple of days. I got to go to Chicago with Bubby. He had his annual, like, little legal conference up there. And one night of it, there's a dinner. Then otherwise, I just kind of explored and had fun and meet up with a few old friends. So it was an awesome time. But it's crazy how, like, the five and a half hour drive up there and just being gone for a couple days, like, honestly seemed like a week to me. I feel like it's been forever since I've been in front of the camera when really it hasn't been that long at all. I'm testing a bunch of Huda Beauty stuff, including the pink uh, neons palette that I've got on my eyes today. And in the midst of that, I wanted to do kind of a fun video today because I've gotten sort of on this uh, train of being really into um, pampering type products. Like, I want to treat myself. I don't know what it is, but I'm really into all the lotions and potions right now. Maybe there's just this little voice in the back of my head saying, you're having a baby this fall. Uh, make the most of this time right now. <laughs> but I wanted to show what I have because I have kind of a variety of things here. A few skincare items that I got from Sephora. I've got like a little kit type thing. And I've also, my nails, what's going on here? Yeah, I did the Impress press on nails while I was up in Chicago. These kind of match some flowers in my dress. And as you can see, they're hanging on great. But here's the first big thing that I got, um, philosophy products. I really do like so many different philosophy scents. And do you remember like way back in the day when I was back in the old house, I remembered talking about Inner Grace quite a bit. I think I had tried that in a beauty test tube. Somewhere along the line, I was also given with an order like a little sampler, little bitty bottles of a lot of the different different grace scents. And I remember getting baby grace and thinking, oh my gosh, baby grace smells so good. It's not like a baby. It's not like baby powder, but it's like really um, clean yet kind of cozy. There's a little bit of a warmth to it, but a freshness as well. I promise it's not like a dryer sheet. That may have been what I just described there, but it's just a really, really pleasant, like uplifting, just beautiful scent. Like the scent you would love to be associated with, the scent you would love to pick up on another person, you know? And we may have some real, like, like hardcore philosophy fans in the house here watching, had Baby Grace been like gone for a while because I have periodically probably over the last couple of years looked for it and not been able to find it. And then I had something recommended to me. I don't know if it was just an email talking about like these big philosophy things. Something prompted me to click and I looked and they had Baby Grace in a trio of these big supersized products. So the body lotion, I've got one that looks exactly like this, but it's the um, shower gel, you know, the shampoo shower gel bubble bath trio product. Both of those are 32 ounces here and then a 16 ounce spray. This is all the baby grace stuff and I just mm. Oh, it's I mean, I can see why. There's a little bit of a scent in there that makes me think, yeah, I can see why they call that baby grace. Maybe there is like a splash of like a, a baby powder, baby oil kind of scent, but it's so minor in the full effect of the product, which I think is very light, just ever so gently sweet, but kind of cozy, kind of wrapped in a blanket type of feel, you know? And I love using that shower gel. Like I've got the big old thing in there and I'm using it all over my body. Body. I'm shaving my legs with it, having no problems. I'm using this all over my body. And I've talked about like post shave, putting lotion on and having issues with fragrance and no problems here. And I love having the spray too, because I layer it all up and Bub's like, oh, you smell so good. And the girls are like, can I have some of that too? And the whole family is benefiting from this experience. And I'm so glad I was able to get this. Now, I wouldn't say like jump in and get this philosophy deal if you've never ever like smelled it. Cause this is a ton of product to get it and what if you get it and don't like it? I mean, I'm sure there's a return policy there where you could get it back off your hands, but maybe go somewhere that carries like all the different grace scents and you can see which one you would like best because you might like Pure Grace better or Amazing Grace. I really love Inner Grace. I really loved Unconditional Love, um, but I remember again with that sample and it stayed with me like years later. I remembered how much I loved that sample of I think it was the Baby Grace body wash and then some time passed, couldn't find it in full sizes and now I did and so I'm really Really glad I have that. I'll be having it for a while, my friends. But I feel I can definitely vouch for the quality of like those philosophy body washes. I've had them in so many different like scents. Every winter I get some. I even had a few minis like I think around Black Friday time I had gotten the Senorita Margarita and the Melon Daiquiri and I tell you they have like for every season, for every scent preference there is something and they lather up beautifully and the scents are so pure and so real. And then this Grace line of products is 
really awesome. I mean, I got the trio, which wasn't cheap, but when I finally saw the opportunity to get my hands on Baby Grace, I did want it in all of those formats. So I'm gonna have it for a while. If you guys remember my Sephora Play video that I did most recently, I opened it up and I was like, this is this play box's last chance. You know, if I like this, it stays. If I don't like it, I'm canceling now. And one of the things that made me like that box so much was the fact that there was this Coco Cabana cream in it from Sol de Janeiro. And this is what it looks like. This is a bigger size of it. And it's called Moisture Magnet Oil and Water Body Cream. And I think it smells so good. Now, there are some people who tell me it smells like buttered popcorn. And I'm like, what? Like I know my buttered popcorn scent. I know what that smells like and I I just can't quite go there with my nose and my nose is very very sensitive right now but I'm picking up on more of a unique tropical scent that is maybe a little bit nutty but still like super fresh and super vacation vibes you know and so knowing how much I enjoyed that here's what I did I went on Sephora's website I, I mean this all played out exactly how Sephora hopes right you get the sample you become obsessed you want to try more so I looked up the Sol de Janeiro products and I got this um, Samba Mama little box here how cute is the box first off and then inside it comes with one of these coco cabana creams i really wanted that scent in a spray form so that was probably the biggest draw for this but i knew i'd use this because i liked it so much in the small size and there's a hand cream in here too and i just i, I adore the scent frankly i do know that different scents can kind of react differently with people's body chemistry like if you tested them on a little piece of paper you know and did a little spray test there it might smell one way but after wearing it for a couple hours maybe it comes off a little differently. I truly don't notice anything unfavorable happening with this scent on me. I just really really like it and I thought it would be fun to have like all these and I could take them with me to Destin and I could just be the most tropical person ever. Also I was inspired to get a couple of other things from the brand. Um, this Acai Body Power Cream. Now I believe this is a smaller size. I think if you buy a full size same with the one that's in this box. Yeah these are both 2.5 fluid ounces and I think that's a smaller size than what their full size is. But I just wanted to try this. I wanted to see what the scent was like. And it's okay, you know, I'm not like jumping up and down over this smell the way I was the Coco Cabana, but it is a nice texture. It feels good going on the skin. You know, it's a little bit berry, but honestly not quite as sweet as I would hope it would smell, um, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna continue using it. I think it's a good textured product. It says daily dose of powerful antioxidants for Brazilian afterglow. So I'm glad I got it. I'm just not as wowed by the scent. And then I got this, this Samba Sway Glow Oil. Um, it says tinted transfer resistant shimmer for body and face. Oh, I didn't realize it was a face thing too. It says for face, use as a highlighter or mix with foundation but there's different colors to choose from and I ended up choosing this Samba Sway which was described as like um, a natural olive tan or something like that so it comes out here with the pump and I took this with me as I traveled because I was like I'm gonna want to you know bronze up my legs a little bit and it is really pretty I think it has a good effect it's not completely foolproof it's deep enough to where I think you really do have to watch yourself and make sure you're not getting a streaky application but I've only really used it on my legs so far I was wearing like a three-quarter sleeve dress, so that was really the area that needed it most. So I popped this on, and then I dusted on top of that my Laura Geller like body bronzer, Tahitian Glow. And I thought the legs looked great. I'm not using like a bunch of sunless tanners because I've seen some of those advised not to be used during pregnancy. So this is the kind of stuff I'm going for, the sort of temporary, you know, bronze you up and hope it doesn't transfer. And I didn't notice any transfer. I really didn't notice any in the white sheets. I mean, I went to bed that night and I didn't shower before bed that night and I didn't notice any transfer off. You know me, taking risks, but I like this and I think that's going to be another like thing I want to take with me to Destin and just something that I'm going to be using all throughout the summer. Now the few other things I got from Sephora are mini skincare products. So just things I wanted to try and I feel like the sizes are pretty generous. Um, I wanted to try this Summer Friday Fridays. Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask and this is a little one ounce size. This is the standard size you would get a foundation in. And it says, upgrade your skin to a business class complexion no matter what time your red eye gets in or what time your head hits the pillow. You're supposed to put it on cleanse, dry skin, apply a thin, even layer. It says, may be used under and over the eye area. And that meant something to me because the eye area and surrounding places here are where I've been extra dry. It says, leave on for 10 minutes for maximum hydration. Blot with a warm cloth if necessary, no need to rinse.
seconds. So I did as they advised. I did a thin layer all over and I definitely wouldn't have felt any need to blot anything away after 10 minutes. So I just kind of left it there and let that be my night cream for the night. And I thought it was pretty effective. I didn't wake up feeling like next level oily for doing it that way. It just felt like a really extra rich cream that wasn't like unusually tacky or like, oh, I'm scared to lay down with this on. Like it had pretty much seemingly absorbed. So I'm gonna continue playing with this and look extra closely at my dry areas and see if it has a real good effect. I think this could be the type of thing maybe you could even just use in pinpointed areas and pair with your existing skincare, which I really do like my existing skincare. I'm using Drunk Elephant stuff. Um, all of that stuff is said to be safe during pregnancy with the exception of a couple things. I think the baby facial and the retinol. But other than that, like I use the glycolic serum at night. I use the Shaba Complex Eye Serum and then the Lala Retro Cream. I'll switch off between that or the Marula Oil, one of the two. And I feel like they've been doing a really great job, especially when I'm not like super casual about throwing it on, but I really like try to work it into my dry areas. But this might be a nice little thing to add in at times. And then the other things I got, I'm so excited about this. I got a small size of this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Can you see it's got rose petals all within it? And it smells so nice. Like don't get this if you hate the smell of roses because it really smells rosy. But oddly, it's not to the point of being so perfumed that you feel funny using this all over your face with a cotton ball or cotton pad as a toner. I'm kind of between settling in on my favorite toner type product. I've got something from Bobbi Brown. It's supposed to be like a hydrating toner type product. I've been using that. I used something from e.l.f. that I thought was kind of stinging me a little bit more than felt proper. And then I've got this. This feels very soothing and nice, but I feel like sometimes it picks up a little extra stuff that maybe I didn't get when washing my face. It says removes impurities and softens. So I'm going to continue playing with that, but I, I really have liked the experience using it. And I feel like this 3.3 fluid ounces seems really big for it being the small size, right? And then I also got to pair with that, just to try, um, this Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream with time release hydro patches, moisturized and nourishes. And I've worn this a few times. It really has, again, that pleasant rose scent that isn't overwhelming. But I kind of just wanted to give that little mini skincare regimen a go, right? And to me, this, while it looks white, it sort of has the consistency, the feel of a gel cream. It's not one of those fully opaque like La La Retro is that's just straight up thick cream. This has a lightness to it because you almost feel like there's it's a gel infused type product, but yet it's still very nicely moisturizing. Frankly, I'm not sure that this is quite as heavy duty as I can use right now with my skin being so dry, but I'm going to still keep working it in. I may travel with this. We'll see, but I liked it and I think the average person with normal to even oily skin might absolutely love this. I'm just feeling like my skin can take a lot right now, including this like supercharged tube of moisture you're here. So um, if you've tried any of this stuff, let me know what your experiences have been like or if you have any recommendations for me that you think are really, really great. Feel free to chime in in the comments section. But I've just really been in the mood to try some of this stuff. Sometimes I feel like I go long spans of time where these sorts of beauty products really fade to the back and don't interest me near as much as the makeup. But they're kind of coming to the forefront right now. So that's sort of cool. But there are lots of products I'm testing and working with. So stay tuned for some reviews coming up and have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.